Hi there, I'm Matt from the Underground Cookery School. Today I'm just going to show you a really simple, easy recipe. I've got a pan here which I've um, um, just had heating up for a while. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of butter in here, not much, just a little knob. And a little bit of olive oil to stop the butter from melt, uh, burning. And I'll just give those a good old toss. Uh, I'm just getting them on their way, so I'm not going to cook them for too long. A little bit of um, garlic as well. Tiny pinch of chilli powder. You don't want to, not too much, because uh, otherwise you just burn everything taste of chilli in the end. Um, I'm going to put the kale in here now. So I'm just going to give those a little bit of a mix around. And just sort of fry those off. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but basically what I want to do is just get those kale uh, wilted a little bit. And I'm now just going to add a little bit of chicken stock. And what will happen is over the course of the next um, 10 to 12 minutes, um, those will, uh, if I turn, you can, you can bring it up to quite a high temperature initially just to bring the stock up to the boil and then just turn it down um, and have it on a very gentle simmer. Keep a very close eye on it because um, within 10 to 12 minutes the amount of stock that I put in there will um, completely evaporate and then you'll, everything will be burned. Um, so just keep checking um, and topping up where necessary. So when you come back, as I say, in about sort of 10 to 12 minutes, that kale would, would be cooked down. You can um, cook it in a wok, um, but you do need to cook it for quite a long time because it is quite hard. Um, so my advice is if you are cooking kale, um, you know, have it as an ingredient amongst other things in there. I'm going to put it on the uh, slow burner over there and I'll see you in 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so that's been on for, as you know, 10-12 minutes. Um, we'll just lift the lid on that. Let's just go inside and have a look. That's now beautifully cooked. I mean, there are a number of ways of doing this. You, what you could do is, let's just turn that up. You, you know, there's a little, you probably saw there's still a little bit of stock in there. So you can reduce that all the way down to a really sticky syrup. And in fact, I'm going to do that, and that's going to take about a minute, and we're going to edit this bit down. I mean, otherwise you can drain it off, but you get such an intense flavour out of it. I think it's such a beautiful way of cooking it. So, um, come back in about a minute's time, and, uh, and we'll be there. Right, well, that's um, beautifully cooked down now. Like I said before, it's such a shame to you know, not use, or, I mean, if you're going to drain that stock off, I think it's just a waste of flavour. I mean, this is really such a beautiful, nutritious um, vegetable. It's an antioxidant. Very, very common in medieval times. See, I'm a wealth of vegetable knowledge. Um, but there you have uh, how to cook kale. <laughs>